Today's topic of interest is biceps tendinopathy. Those who perform repetitive overhead activities such as throwing, paddling, racket sports, or contact sports are more susceptible to this injury. The individual may feel a deep throbbing ache on the front of their shoulder and into the deltoid. Nocturnal symptoms are common, particularly when sleeping on the affected shoulder. With failed healing over the course of three months, the tendon begins to degenerate and turn into what we call tendinopathy. There are two heads within the bicep. The long head is more susceptible to injury since the tendon travels all the way up the arm, underneath the ligament, and it takes a sharp turn across the head of the humerus, which eventually inserts onto the labrum. If the individual has weak rotator cuff muscles, their bicep tendon is more susceptible to injury. The same can occur in the opposite situation since the long head of the bicep actually helps to stabilize the shoulder. It essentially depresses the humeral head downwards when the arm is elevated. This creates space within the shoulder joint. Without this mechanism in place, an individual is more likely to suffer from shoulder impingement as a second diagnosis. Additional biomechanical risk factors include repetitive shoulder or elbow flexion, improper lifting technique, shoulder girdle muscle imbalances, and poor posture. Here's one of the many tests I use to help come up with this diagnosis. The patient will hold their elbow by their side, palm up, and try to perform a resistive uppercut. The patient will then experience either pain or pop which may suggest bicep tendon.